It was chaotic. There are too many points of interest across the map that these players are going to have to make a lot of indiv individual decisions. We're going to see if that plays perfectly and some like bounce play style or overwhelms them and we start to see some mistakes because so far cloud nine are looking real real good pocket <laughs> opening battles it's three down already for sentinels and that is not how you wanted to start this game all momentum back in favor of cloud nine but frosty's making the place he's got the rocket this is how you can flip it back. Penguin says, we're not giving you that opportunity. Yeah, done. somehow Frosty was able to grab the B stronghold, get a kill, kill the rocket player, secure the rockets. I mean, about all you could expect or hope for in the last player alive scenario. But rocket player after rocket player going down. I mean, I don't want to put any bad juju out there, but those rockets might be cursed. And we just call out Sentinels is scoring 25 points as the trip cap was almost underway. Bound clutches up to keep seeing their control. Frosty rotating over though, David. This is gonna be Sentinels trying to go with a full court press. They get a three cap position for just a short period of time. And look at this, Frosty is realizing this player is no chance going back to back commando. He expected that player to double back towards driveway or go towards the dumpster. And it is bound to Sneaky B behind the corner. Gets the first shot on Frosty. He turns back with a stalker, but instantly punished it. We mentioned it. Renegade, the former Star Slayer of this Cloud9 squad. When he left the team, everyone's wondering, who do you grab? What could fill that role? Bound seems to be the answer. Bound seems to be in the chaotic times. We'll have to see how it is during some of those neutral, slower times. I have yet to see that just yet, but so far, looking real good. However, when we're looking at Cloud9 and being critical throughout this game, they're doing great in the slaying department, but they have only 10 points on Until the board. Until this trip cap, right, Dave? I was gonna say, good that you mentioned it when they were only at 10 points, but now look, 24, 26, every second you are climbing back up, and this could be a tie game, but Sentinels, Clutch kills, four down. This should be Sentinels taking full map control for now. Yeah, Sentinels gonna grab these two strongholds. They are aware that Cloud9 are gonna spawn over at Cap A or PD, and they're gonna defend these two strongholds before they make a push and try to get a trip cap. With Frosty and Snakebite both falling, trip cap's out of the picture. At this point, save your life and see if you can even hold on to your two. Late to get there is bound, but he's true for the first. Can he clean up lethal as well? Lethal on the stairs, his teammate survives, it's Penguin getting out of dodge. The grenades are traded, but B was not captured. Not captured, now but eventually captured. acquired by Penguin, and that's just fine. Look at how these players are playing the last. When we went into a couple listens, you heard from both Cloud9 and Central Side saying, play your life. What that means is make the opposing team take as long as possible to kill you. Play a little more selfish. Yep. You don't need to do anything miraculous on your own. You don't need to do a, a ninja. You don't need to jump out and get a stick every single time. Instead, buy as much time for your teammates, and those little advantages are gonna roll into a big snowball lead for your team. If you're just joining us, welcome to the Halo World Championship. We are live from Seattle, Washington, and we are down to the final six teams. This is a battle between two champions. Cloud9 from Raleigh, Sentinels from Kansas City. But only one's moving into our top four. Only one moves on, one goes home, and it's difficult. I would not expect to say that about either of these teams this early on Sunday. Bound trying to challenge as Cloud9 is gonna get pushed around at B. Penguins under fire at C as well. This was the push Sentinels needed. They're still in control, but you can see that scoreboard getting ever closer to the tie. Just like that, Eco realizing the numbers advantage not in his favor. Sometimes, counterintuitively, if you don't have numbers on the map, getting the trade can be your best case scenario. Here's Bound with another double kill. Chad, how many have we seen from this man on the other side? Observers, if we can get eyes on Royal 2, we haven't shown the light on this guy enough throughout this series. I want to see what's going on currently. Leading the team with 13 kills. 13 kills, grabbing the B stronghold. Let's see how he lays down these shots across the map. He has such a strong, steady shot, especially long range. And look at just the little poke shots the damage he'll do. Anytime someone just peeks out on the screen for just a minute period of time. That's two down. And two traded right back. Bound another double kill. Keeps rolling them up. 
He's been the queen of crew, Dave, and it seems the man always has a bulldog, a stalker rifle, something in his hand. Just doing everything to grab those weapons out of the sandbox here in Halo. Now that massive lead for Sentinels is now quick within striking distance. Only a 25 point lead here for Sentinels when off the gate, they were up about 60. They opened up so strong. They had an early three cap. That opened the door for Cloud9 to come back. Cloud9, momentary three cap, close that cap. And now we see the Sentinels though. We mentioned it, Dave. This is a squad that can win efficiently. They don't need to blow you out when it comes to the slang. They're definitely not doing it in this game. But if you look at the scoreboard, they're now up 50. They are now up 50, but here is Cloud9's answer. They have a dub cap. They have Sentinels trapped over in Tram. Now let's see how they decide to put the squeeze on. Lethal at least able to sneak on out, but those kills are traded out. That's three down for Sentinels. Now, is this gonna be a strong trip cap here from Cloud9, or do they decide to hold their two? Look at Eco's focus. He is more focused on bottom Tram to make sure they secure that spot. He's just blocking spawns and dishing out damage. Eco has done it all tournament long. You look at his numbers, he's been fragging out and Slayer, but across the board, he has been pure lethal though. Coming up with half shield, taking the fight and winning, and that's gonna open up a rocket opportunity for Snakebite here. Yeah, even though Cloud9 has control for the time being, I would expect a new game from Penguin with the stock rifle. Destroy Snakebite, gets the rockets out of his hands, and is now pushing his team closer and closer to a tie game. Everybody's running around with a T2 combo these days. <laughs> I don't want a battle rifle. Give me all the power-ups. He's got a rocket. My beam's bigger. Eco across the map. Lock it down top of A. You see C, B, all in control. Cloud9, the trip cap against the Sentinel, and the scoreboard is showing it. 175 and growing to 150. Trip cap in effect, but Bound cannot overextend this position. This could go from a dub cap to even a trip cap in favor of Sentinels. Look at that, just by Bound trying to get a little greedy and help over on B Street. Cost him and his teammates lives. This is massive for Sentinels. You can't let Cloud9 get to that 200 mark. You're 100 points away from keeping yourself alive in this series. How do you close out this game three? We go back to Bound. Cloud9 defending themselves at B. C cap already down. And he is just doing a phenomenal job of staying alive. Penguin comes behind, causes chaos, finds the melee, and forces a second player down. Cloud9 always with an answer to this pressure from Sentinel. Found just giving so much respect to Sentinels there, assuming a grenade's gonna come flying in a different angle. So he's ducking in and out of that stronghold. Doesn't want to just commit and die there immediately. He's getting flipped back and forth, back and forth. Eco versus Royal 2 cross map battle. Eco's gonna force him back, bound jumping in, but Lethal, he's there at the perfect time. There's the teamwork we needed to see from Sentinels as they recap C. A reset at what cost, but the surprising part right now is that Cloud9 have not grabbed A throughout the entire time. Eco was at bottom A tower, but looks like the Cloud9 strategy is holding B and C if they have a choice. They're spawning back PD and Lethal's in trouble. The boom boom's around the corner. Down goes TJ. Sentinels in trouble. Snake fight though, perfect grenades, keeps his team in it at B. Snake fight just jumping around, trying to stay alive. Gets picked up by Bound. These players, when they are weak, they are called out and they are hunted down fast. Pocket, it's a trip cap in action. 228 points on the board for Cloud9. 3 1 in Orlando. 3 0 to send Sentinels packing in Orlando. And now, 10 points away from another 3 0. The AR comes out. Bound, sitting on 15 kills. Penguin gets to the 20 mark. And this game day is almost done. That punch for Royal 2. Can he hang on? Penguin's there. But it is over. Cloud9. 3-0 versus Sentinels. Sentinels going home in fifth slash sixth place this event. We're used to saying hail to the Kings. This time it is pay our respects to the Kings.